before the game, Colorado College is a very good team. You expected a close game. Separated by one shot, you go to double overtime and end up with a tie. Pretty much what you expected. Yeah, I knew we knew it would be close, and, and both teams are, are you know capable of scoring. And um, you know, I think certainly we got two in the first half. They got two in the second half. It, it was an easy, an even game. What was the adjustment that was made? Uh, you guys seemed to dominate the first half, or at least have the upper hand in the first half. Yeah. They played well in the second half. Yeah. What changed between the two? Halves? Uh, a couple of things. One, um, you know, the, the wind is a bit of a factor. Um, so that was part of it. And, I just, I, you know, I think that they went down two and all of a sudden they started playing a lot harder. And, and uh, they made it a lot more difficult for us. And they, they, they sort of stopped defending our backs. They let our backs come forward and then hit us on the counter. And, and they did quite well. Uh, both teams had a lot of players on the ground during the day. Yeah. Uh, looked like a very physical game. Yeah. Did you expect that physical a contest with these guys? Um, not really, although I, I will say I, I didn't think it was dirty. It, it was just hard. I mean, both teams played hard, and, you know, it is after both teams had hard games on Friday night, so you're going to see that a little bit more in these Sunday afternoon games. You get up 2-0, then they score two quick goals to tie it up. What was the message you had for your team going into overtime? Well, I felt like we had to get control of the game. I, at the end of regulation, I didn't feel like we had control of the game, and I, I felt like in overtime we got, we got control of the game, and... Uh, got one that, that was called back and, and had a couple of other a couple of other decent chances so it was just trying to get get a hold of the ball and get control of the game. When you when you say getting control was that an increase in the intensity from your players or was that a schematic change from your part from the yeah. bench? What, no what I, 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 I think I think it was more of a, a mindset from our players of bringing the ball down and trying to play as opposed to getting too frantic. We got pretty frantic at the end of at the end of regulation and they upped the pressure and our, our reaction was to get kind of frantic instead of settling down and playing. Obviously, one of the big events in the game, Courtney Smith goes down in the first overtime. What did that change on either end of the field, what you were able to do? Well, uh, you know, uh, Courtney's uh, a weapon in many different ways. You know, she can serve the ball really well with her left foot. Um, she has a long throw in. She takes a great free kick. So that took away a little bit of our attack. But I, saying that, uh, you know, I thought Lauren went in and did, did really, really well. Um, you know, she didn't give anything up. There were... There were no dangerous opportunities off of her side, so I, I felt like Lauren, Lauren was good in there. 